Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle and this uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this angle uh, B, C, D is uh, 77 degrees and this angle uh, D, A, B is uh, represented by X degrees. And moreover, we got these uh, two chords, uh, EP and uh, FP, that make uh, an angle uh, 33 degrees, as you can see over here. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and we are going to draw some auxiliary lines so therefore we are going to connect uh, these two vertices f uh, and d as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's recall the inscribed uh, angles theorem according to this theorem uh, inscribed angle uh, that intercept uh, the same arc are uh, congruent as you can see in this given diagram and here's our very first example let's focus on this uh, arc uh, a b and we can see that this arc uh, is being intercepted uh, by this uh, angle. Let me call this angle uh, alpha and likewise uh, this angle as well. I'm going to call this angle alpha as well. So therefore, uh, these two angles are congruent since uh, they intercept this very same uh, arc. And now let's focus on this uh, other arc uh, CD. And we can see that this uh, arc uh, is being uh, intercepted by this uh, angle. I'm going to call this angle uh, beta. And likewise, this very same arc is being uh, subtended by this uh, angle as well. I'm going to call this angle beta as well. So therefore, uh, these uh, both uh, angles are congruent as well, since they are intercepting uh, the very same uh, arc. And now let's focus on this uh, arc uh, EF that is being uh, intercepted by this angle uh, EPF which is uh, 33 degrees. And likewise uh, this very same uh, arc uh, EF is also being intercepted by this angle uh, EDF uh, as well. So therefore uh, these uh, two angles uh, are congruent. If this angle is 33 degrees uh, then this angle uh, EDF is going to be 33 degrees as well. So thus our angle uh, EDF turns out to be 33 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ADF whose two angles are uh, 33 degrees uh, and angle X. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, uh, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this given diagram and here we can see this uh, angle C is our exterior angle whereas uh, these two angles uh, A and angle uh, B are our opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, this angle C is going to be equal to this angle A plus this angle uh, B so therefore in our case for this uh, triangle uh, ADF uh, this angle uh, DFB is our exterior angle and this uh, exterior angle is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these two opposite interior angles 33 degrees plus uh, this angle X. So therefore uh, this exterior angle is going to be equal to angle X uh, plus uh, 33 degrees. So thus our this angle uh, DFB turns out to be X plus 33 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, quadrilateral uh, BCDF. And now let's recall the definition of a cyclic uh, quadrilateral. If all the vertices of the quadrilateral lie on the very same uh, circle, then such kind of quadrilateral is called uh, the cyclic uh, quadrilateral. And we can see that this uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD is a cyclic uh, quadrilateral since all these uh, vertices ABCD lie on the very same circle. And furthermore, the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral have a total of 180 degrees. In other words, uh, these opposite angles are supplementary angles. 
So therefore, if I call this angle uh, alpha and this angle uh, angle uh, gamma, then uh, angle alpha plus angle gamma, the sum of these two opposite uh, angles is going to be 180 degrees. And likewise, if I call this angle uh, beta and this angle uh, delta, then the sum of these two opposite angles, uh, beta plus angle uh, delta is going to be 180 degrees uh, as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, quadrilateral uh, BCDF uh, is indeed a cyclic uh, quadrilateral since all these vertices uh, B, C, D and F uh, lie on the very same uh, circle. And furthermore, uh, these two opposite uh, angles are supplementary angles. In other words, uh, sum of these two angles is uh, 180 degrees. So therefore, we can write down these two angles, angle X uh, plus uh, 33 degrees, uh, plus the other opposite angle is uh, 77 degrees, uh, must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's combine these uh, like terms. So therefore, we got uh, X uh, plus 110 degrees uh, is equal to 180 degrees. And now we are going to subtract uh, 110 degrees uh, from both uh, sides to isolate uh, angle uh, X. And here we can see these two angles uh, cancels out. So therefore, our angle X uh, turns out to be equal to 70 degrees. So thus, after all the calculations and manipulations, our angle uh, X turns out to be 70 degrees. In other words, uh, this angle X uh, is going to be equal to 70 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.